Hello everyone, welcome back to Exploring the Coast with Hannah. On this week's episode, we're going to be looking at the wonderful world of sea stars. Let's go! Sea stars belong to the Animalia Kingdom and the phylum Echinodermata, which translates to spiny skin. Species that are also included in this phylum are urchins, sea cucumbers, and sand dollars. The general exterior anatomy of a sea star includes radiating arms, and depending on the species, some sea stars can have anywhere from 5 to 24 arms. They also have eye spots on the tips of each of their arms, and the center of their body is called the central disc. On the central disc, there is a calcareous plate called the madreporite. This is a porous plate which connects to the sea star's water vascular system and allows them to bring water in and out of their bodies. Fun fact, sea stars do not have brains nor blood. Here you can see their spines and surrounding them you can also see what is called pedicellarii. Pedicellarii are pincher-like appendages that are thought to keep the body surface clear of algae, encrusting organisms, and other debris. Like other echinoderms, sea stars have tube feet that are used for locomotion, attaching to surfaces, respiration, and also feeding. Their mouths are found on the ventral or belly side of the body. Another fun fact, sea stars expel their stomachs out of their mouths to consume their prey. Talk about spilling your guts. Ochre sea stars, in fact, are considered a keystone species as its presence or absence significantly affects the entire community in the inner tidal zone. Ogre sea stars are voracious predators on smaller animals and among very abundant animals in the intertidal, like mussels, on which they prey heavily on, as you can see pictured here. Sea stars along much of the North American Pacific coast experienced a massive die-off in 2013 and 2014 due to a mysterious wasting syndrome. Similar die-offs have occurred before, but never before at this magnitude and over such a wide geographic area. Ochre sea stars and at least 20 other species of sea stars have been affected by the current sea star wasting syndrome event. Typically, lesions appear on the body, followed by decay of tissue surrounding the lesions, which can lead to loss of arms at a rapid rate and eventually lead to death. The Limpets program at the PG Museum has been collecting baseline data on ochre sea stars for decades. Here's a graph showing two different limpet sites here in Monterey Bay, one in Almar Avenue and the other at Davenport Landing in Santa Cruz County. You can see a general decline in ochre sea stars found per 10 meters squared at both sites from 2009 until the subsequent die off in 2013, which for us we still found a few sea stars then. However, in 2014 and 2015, at both sites, we found no sea stars. The Limpets program continues to monitor ochre sea stars to help track their recovery and abundance and distribution. Now let's take a look at a few of many sea star species you can find right here in Monterey Bay. <music> 